Cold Sleeper by John Lucas Bowman. Exterior, Moscow night, present. A full winter moon over the Russian capital. Interior, FSB building, director's office, night. Pale moonlight illuminates dark wood panels, cigarette smoke stained curtains, and heavy Stalinist furniture, a huge chandelier. Latex glove hands carefully break into a drawer. They professionally disarm various alarm mechanisms. Pull open the drawer and take a hard plastic card with the insignia of the Russian FSB. Hudson, in his 30s, lean, muscular, agile, focuses his eyes on the card. His pupils open wide. The card is full of code numbers. Sand of a camera shutter, Hudson's gaze relaxes. He puts the card back, closes the drawer. Click. He triggers a hidden mechanism. Alarm sirens go off. Hudson whips around and pins his steely blue eyes on the door. The door flies open. Ludmilla, the female equivalent of Hudson, gun drawn, rushes into the room. A squad of heavily armed Russian soldiers follow her. A grim soldier hits the light switch. Hudson is gone. Ludmilla bites her lips. The soldiers scan the room, confused. If I have to come and get you, I will get angry. And when I get angry, I will slit your throat with a dull pocket knife. It will take hours. Hudson drops from the chandelier. He kicks Ludmilla. She flies backwards and takes out the grim soldier. A red-eyed soldier aims his AK-47 at Hudson. Hudson pulls the rug from under his feet. In falling, red-eyes bullets smash the chandelier socket. It slowly breaks out of the ceiling. Hudson already bangs the floor light into the face of a thin-lipped soldier. He grabs a giant and wants to judo throw him over his shoulder, but the giant is too heavy. He deals a few blows. The giant takes them with, some, with a mean grin. Hudson retreats towards the window. Giant's mean grin broadens. Say goodbye, Amerikansky. Goodbye, Amerikansky. The chandelier rips out of the socket, falls and almost buries him, but Giant jumps out of the way. Hudson grabs him and uses his momentum to whirl him around and smashes him against the wall. He's out. Hudson kicks open the window and climbs out onto a ledge. Boom, a bullet zings by his head. He turns to Ludmilla. She gets back on her feet. How on earth can you miss at this distance? I love you, and I want to have your baby. She squeezes off another round, but Hudson is gone. Exterior, FSB building, ledge, night. Ludmilla steps out onto the ledge. Hudson, further down the ledge, turns the corner. Exterior, above the FSB building, night. A drone points her camera at Ludmilla, following Hudson. Interior, CIA headquarters, operation center, day. Monitors, maps, and high-tech equipment fill the room. One monitor displays the drone's view. Becker, 50s, ponytail, polo shirt, jeans, sneakers, watches, as Ludmilla bounces on the ledge. Why on God's green earth is that woman still moving? She has an appointment in the eternal hunting grounds and she's already late. <laughs> around him laugh. Guys, please, let's witness her demise with dignity. Exterior, FSB building, ledge, night. As Ludmilla turns the corner, Hudson hits her hand and she drops the gun. Sorry, I'm not ready for kids yet. She throws a blow. He parries. Her own momentum throws her off balance. A few endless moments, she fights gravity. Let me be of assistance. With the tip of his finger, Hudson gives her a tiny push. She falls. One hand manages to claw the ledge. You know, you're like a persistent skin rash. He's about to step on her fingers when their eyes lock. They stare at each other. Hudson's eyes open wide in astonishment. Interior, CIA, Headquarters, Operations Center, Day. Becker cranks the dial. The drone image zooms in and reveals that Hudson and Lumilla stare deeply into each other's eyes. Come on, don't just stand there and gawk. That's so cruel. Do something. Be a gentleman. Step on her fingers. Kick her in the face. Throw a snowball for all I care. But please, let's get it over with. The OPS owes and awes when Hudson suddenly grabs Lumilla's hand and pulls her up. On the ledge, they embrace. Eventually, they kiss. Are you shitting me? Do I need an eye doctor, or better, a shrink? Because quite obviously, I'm hallucinating like a hippie who broke into a psychedelic mushroom farm. He's fraternizing with the enemy, and he doesn't give two fucks that I'm watching. That's not just insubordination. That's giving me the finger right in my face. Uh, maybe he wants to infiltrate the organization. Interior, Moscow Grand Hotel, Hudson's room, night. The door flies open and Hudson and Lunilla stumble in. They rip each other's clothes off, French kiss, laugh, and storm to the bed all at the same time. 
Interior Moscow Grand Hotel, Hudson's room, night. Hudson and Lamilla lie next to each other in bed. The blanket is tucked up to their chins. They still look blissfully into each other's eyes. At the same time, they close their eyes and drift to sleep. Their breath slows and synchronizes. Ludmilla carefully opens one spying eye and studies him. Hudson doesn't notice anything. Interior Moscow Grand Hotel, Hudson's room, night. Hudson wakes up. He's tied up with her stockings. The room has been searched. The safe is open. Papers and spy gear lie on the table in various states of disassembly. His computer is connected to a little antenna. Ludmilla types. She stares into the computer camera and smiles. From Moscow, with love. She hits enter. 